Hello, uh, Dave Knight once again here at Knight Capital Management. Uh, you can find me at knightcapitalmanagement.com, also on YouTube. I'm under Trade Craze, that's T R A D E C R A Z E. Uh, I want to welcome everyone once again and to all of the new uh, listeners. I'd like to uh, welcome you as well. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy week to take a look at see what I'm doing in my day trading. Um, as you can see, I have six markets in front of me. This is what I'm currently following. Uh, the long bond, uh, the Euro FX, uh, E-mini S&P, the ER, uh, E-mini Russell that is, uh, corn and wheat. That's electronic corn, electronic wheat. Although I'm not really trading corn and wheat too much uh, at present. It really hasn't offered too many opportunities. I like to see some lots of movement. Today in corn there was a considerable amount of movement, but it was all basically on a gap move. And uh, anyway, make a long story short, I want to talk about two markets today, and I want to talk about the best trade of the week as well. Uh, I want to talk about the E-mini S&P. Uh, right now, I just want to blow the picture up just a little bit more for you. And what you'll see today is uh, the E-mini uh, uh, market that we're looking at right now currently. It's a closed market. It's uh, about roughly 4.20 p.m. on Thursday. It's after the market closed. So this is actually a current market. You can see the market on my charts closed roughly at 12.84 and a half. Today's open came at... Uh, 930 and that was at 1308 and three quarters uh, that was a nice gap that was a huge big gap that we're going to talk about in the bonds in just a little bit but this is when the market opened up at 930 here in the ES market and I was looking for uh, either a run a, a move to run up or a move to go down and actually there was a spike reversal off of this fourth bar what I did not like about it is it really didn't have any momentum to move it forward. It went up and was pulling back down. I decided to stand aside on this bar. Plus, you know, it just just the market seems so heavy. Um, the fifth bar, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth red bar here that we're looking at. There was uh, opportunity to trade at the close of this bar. Uh, it's a spike reversal or a spike reversal trend fade. It went opposite direction. In other words, what I'm saying here, as the gap did not fill, it was an opp this is one of the, a neat opportunity to take. Uh, I I saw the close lower than the open of the other uh, of previous bar, which didn't take much to do anyway. But also, it was lower than all the other. And also, if you look down below, volume was rising. Volume was rising coming into this point. So I liked all of it. And the volume was actually considerably high at 100 and something thousand so I ignored going green bar and so forth and on this trade the next bar obviously you can see it did go green uh, anyway so this was one of the trades to take running down here is the average daily range it was sitting at 1293 and a quarter early this morning uh, it was an opportunity to trade it several times during uh, today uh, basically you could have come in almost any time during the day and made money this was a nice uh, what I would call a nice Bond, uh, excuse me, a nice E mini S and P trade. Volume went green here on that bar. Nice trade to make at that point. Volume also rising once again here on this bar. You can see here it was a nice trade during towards the end of the day. Uh, that's the ES market. Really don't want to concentrate too much of my time here, but it, just so you understand, it was a nice down day. The Dow closed down on the uh, September Dow contract 337 points. Uh, the the E mini S and P was down 38 points even today, from according to my charts. So is a is a in a gap considerably before even the market opened. So let's take a look at the the bond market, the long bond or what's called the 30 year treasury. So here's the 30 year treasury market right here that we're looking at. We're going to look at the 26 being Thursday, and I mentioned that this was the the best trade of the week. I wanted to concentrate on the bond market a little bit because I found the bond market to be extremely uh, friendly to trade in the recent months. Uh, at the open at 820 uh, on the open what I noticed was the Dow and you can also see the volume uh, as it's starting to move but the open uh, it was given some indication of, of what it wanted to do. What I liked about the bond market was this was simple uh, the ES and the ER were tra trading considerably down. The Dow, I think, was down uh, roughly around 100 points at this point in time. But the bond market had no gap. There that was just 
it was just screaming, hey, this bond market has a chance to go up. So I was looking on the long side of the bond market. I attempted at 835 or roughly at the end of this bar to get in this market. And the bar itself had a high of 9.5, 114 and 9.5. And I did not trade. Uh, I traded it at that point. It went up to approach the high, and then it and it bro I brought my stop to break even, and then it went down. And anyway, so 850 was the trade that I I took, or actually on this bar opening. So I had a break even trade at 835 on this bar, and then 850. This is the trade that I made. I entered the market at 114 and 09. I had my stop down at 114 and 05. I wasn't really going to take too much, and it's also a little below the. Uh, the high of yesterday as well. So just notice that I'm playing the high against the high of yesterday against the average daily range of the bond market right now currently to have on my chart. So my uh, initial target on 09 was 15. I took most of my position off at 15. Uh, as you can see, it went on to hit target. Uh, that's $187.50 per contract that I was in. I took the majority of my position off right there at 15. On the close of this bar and open of this bar, I've moved my rest of my stop of all my trades up to the 15 mark. So I was not going to take anything less than my target at this point. Uh, I did get close to hitting my 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 uh, my stop, my profit stop. It went down to 114 and 16, which is uh, kind of a hair shave away, uh, two ticks away, but it did not. And as you can see on the next bar, it did go up to hit the 25, or roughly 20 ticks from the 15 to 25, or 32 ticks from 9 to 25. 32 ticks from 9 to 25 is $500 per contract traded. And I took the rest of my position off of here. Combination per every two contracts here, 18750 plus $500. Uh, and I do recommend that you trade in combinations of two at minimum and then going up from there depending upon your fixed ratio money management three four five but no less than two uh, for two contracts today and more obviously but for your two contracts you're looking at uh, six hundred and eighty seven dollars and fifty cents and that is a nice trade to be make uh, I, I took it four ticks below the twenty seven mark here uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 27 and a half, 27. It was flirting around on the average daily range. So I played in between the high and this, and all this market with this. The whole trade itself was set up once again. Let me show you. Was set up before the stock market opened. The E-mini opened up. The gap here was not being shown on uh, on the on the open of the bond market. So this gap is what I played into the bonds thinking that the bonds itself could go and, and, and in correlation to the stock market uh, this would be the gap area that we were looking at in relation to where the bond uh, to the stocks were open and the hundred dollar I mean the hundred point in the Dow correlates to somewhere in this range so I was looking for it to move at least to there and which it did uh, it was a uh, it was an awesome trade. There's all kinds of good trades today being Thursday. Volume was really good uh, on this trade, as you can see, going to. And as it was starting to fall off, uh, it still ended up reaching my target. And as you can see later on in the day, it continued its trend to go up. Um, so uh, that's it. That's all I want to talk about for this week. Uh, I am going to make one more recording. At least I'm planning on making a recording and showing you this market uh, on a replay mode so you can see exactly my thinking as the bars were formed. Uh, I cannot do that today because I have to wait for my charts to update with the closing data from today and the tick data and so forth. Uh, I will either make that video recording on Friday or Saturday as time permits. I want to wish you all the best in your trading. I want to wish you all the best of luck. Uh, good trades to everyone. If you need to reach me, always you can reach me by email. You can find that on my, my blog at nightcapitalmanagement.com. Uh, you can find it through the YouTube. Uh, my link's at TradeCraze, uh, T-R-A-D-E-C-R-A-Z-E -E is the username there. Uh, Y'all have a nice weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.